Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were dealing with a whole number of different things, uh, tying up the loose ends around the galaxy to finish off those quests, so I don't have to go back to those planets. Now that that's done... Uh, I can just run around freely across Manan, not having to worry about much of anything else. Uh, so, the Republic is where I should probably start off next. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? E no, I have not. Time is a critical factor. We cannot allow the Sith to decode that data recording, or our operations on Manan will be compromised. True. Okay, well, the code to get into the Sith base, then. We did get that. That was one thing we did. But, uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember the code. We were supposed to put it into a thing, I think? Weren't we? I don't remember. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, here. You're going to try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh, good luck. You're going to need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. What kind of holes? The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Mm. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said hmm. you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay. Fair enough. Run the large computer. Uh... I can slice into the Republic system to do that. Um, to also do that? What the hell? Access restricted data archives? Um, to fish eye view from some sort of small surveillance device, beautiful young woman enters the room followed by a much older man. Uh, she walks farther into the room. He softly closes the door, pulls a blaster, and shoots her in the back. Uh, this must be some sort of secret recording of Sunri murdering Elasa. What? Um... Ah. <laughs> As Arbiter, you must defend Sunri to the best of your ability. However, you have found a data recording that clearly shows Sunri killing the Sith woman, Elasa. Can you continue your role as Arbiter impartially, knowing that your client has committed such a crime? Um... Let's decrypt the Sith Pass card, then. Hmm. Additive matrix. Terminal sequence is 1, 2, 4, 7, 1, 16. Why is my phone buzzing? <laughs> Why is this even on? Okay, um, <laughs> this should have been, uh, turned off. I'm going to fix that. Sorry, folks, I thought, uh, I turned it off of business setup to be, uh, for recording setup. But apparently... 
apparently it wasn't on there. Oops. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put that back down. Uh, so it looks like it's adding it in an order of one, two, three, four, five. The next one would be six in the pattern. And that would make 16 into 22. Terminating. Okay, that worked. This one is a little weird. Subtractive matrix. It seems to be going in the order of three to one and then going in the other direction. Then zero, one. Then that would mean adding two to make it 18. Okay. Multiplicative matrix. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Um seems to be just multiplying the number by two. Because multiplying one by two would be two. Multiplying two by two would be four. And four by two would be eight. So thirty-two times two would be 64. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it had to be divis <laughs> divisive matrix, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a weird way. I've never seen that particular word made before. Okay. This one seems to be dividing it by two. Because that would be then 64. 64 divided by 2 would be 32. So I'm assuming 2 is the next one. Exponential. Oh, Jesus, Horatio Christ. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Maybe it was a good thing my phone was reminding me that my phone is there. Because, oh, boy. Oh, sweet Jeebus. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. Hmm. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm pro I'm not going to look it up, but at the same time, I want to do it the calculator way. But I don't remember how to do exponents on a phone calculator. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> This isn't helping me <laughs> at all. Because <laughs> uh, square root of 32 is not a whole number. <laughs> uh, that's not the one I was looking for, though, isn't it? I don't need square root. and It's an exponential thing. <laughs> so, oh, no. Okay. Um Oh no, I don't know how to do this one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's as far as my math skills go. <laughs> um, oh dear. Um mm. Three? Eh? Okay. It seemed to let it go. A logarithmic. Oh dear. This definitely doesn't make sense. Um. One. It's. 
sequence pair, so 1 and 0, 8 and 3, 32 and 5. Hmm. So if that's the case... Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm going to go back to the calculator, <laughs> as much help as it might not be, and I'll see. Hmm. Maybe it's similar to the other one, other ones where it was doing it in an order. And it's how many times it was multiplied to get there? Hmm. 32. That. that. God damn it. Hmm. My phone is being annoying on purpose. Okay. <sighs> what I'm thinking... What I'm thinking is that it's based off of the multiplying one, where one wasn't multiplied by anything, but then it became 2 when it was multiplied by 2. But that would be 1. And then it became 4 when multiplied again by 2. But that would be 2 times it was multiplied by 2. And then when it hits 8, it would have been multiplied by 2 3 times. Which is why the 3 is there. And then 8 multiplied by 2 would be 16. Which makes it 4. And then 32 multiplied by, rather, 16 multiplied by 2 would be 32. And that would have been it multiplied five times. Okay, so I think I have a basic gist of my theory here. 32 multiplied by 2 would be 64, which would make that six times it was multiplied. And then multiply 64 by 2 would make that uh, 128, which would have made that seven times it was multiplied. Failure. Fuck. Fuck. Giddy fuck. 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 Okay. I think I'm right on that last one. I think I'm right on the last one. It's just the fifth one that I'm in, not entirely sure. So I'm going to do all of that again. Just because I'm exactly sure on these i'm going to do one again on that and then seven failure okay i'm still very sure on all of my other things i'm very sure on all of those extremely sure in fact uh six maybe <laughs> it was the six, so I was right on everything else. Hells yeah. Oh, the and then, and then <laughs> teacher said you wouldn't have a calculator in your pocket all the time. Yeah, and then phones happen, bitch. <laughs> okay, well, I managed to get the card as well. Unloading. Beautiful. All right. Be great. You sliced the encryption on those cards. Yeah, I did. Change the codes regularly, so you'll have to use it pretty soon or not at all. That's fine. That's fine by me. I managed to do it. And I did it for both of these. So. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Okay. Citizen, please refer any good job in getting the passcode out of him. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I managed to get both the passcode out of him and the card broken, so. I have two avenues in which to approach the Sith base, which probably should be doing now, shouldn't I? 
Yeah, that's probably the next thing I should be doing. To the east courtyard. That would be the way to the Sith base, wouldn't it? Right? I'm not entirely confident I'm correct. But we're gonna try it anyway. Just in case. Otto East. Was I correct, or was I a dum-dum? That's the question. That's Swoop Track Registration General Shop. I was right! How about that? Gotta love that. Gotta love that. Okay, up we go. Going this way. Anything going on in here? With uh, your tal? Welcome, come in. I've heard you are a swoop racer, and swoop racers always have money to spend. My favorite customers. Whatever you desire, you will find it here at your tal's second hand shop. So, what can I get for you, friend? Uh, let's look at your inventory. Okay, um. Hmm. Mandalorian Ripper, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. We got a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. For Pine Demolitions Pro Basic Targeting Computer. Advanced Targeting Computer. Good gods. It's really good. Uh, heavy Plating Type 1. Huh. I was going to upgrade the droids with this stuff. That's right, I remember now. But then again, I didn't really have... Well, I could get them in now. Sorry, you two. Just upgrading them real quick. Damn it! Damn it, you two. Doug, damn it, damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale, damn it, damn it. Okay. Uh, he is upgraded with... Medium type 2. Upgraded with heavy type 3. Sure. Whoops. I wanted to do this. Look at the inventory. Yep. 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 Uh, buy the heavy type 1. Which is still better than nothing. For uh, our little T3 here. Yeah. That's pretty substantial. It's pretty good. Um, he's got motion sensors. He's also got motion sensors. Um, I really should be <laughs> upgrading my droids a little more. <laughs> okay, alright, um, should probably buy this. Just don't know for who. Um... The interface tool and the computer probe. I th think that's good enough? Maybe? Little? Mm hmm. I think that's good enough. Um. It's also. Oh, that's for blaster rifle. That wouldn't be good for him at all. It'd be good for you. It'd be very good for you. Assassin pistol. Oh, okay. Let me look at Gino Horadan Blaster uh, Attack mod Modifier plus 5. And the threshold is a little tighter on those. Huh. I mean, if I'm going to equip them with anything, it might as well be the Gino Horadan Blasters. Eh? Or... Or, or, you could equip him with a rifle, since he'll be good to do those. Um, yee, let's go with Chundar's blaster. Huh? Yeah, that'll work. 
And then I'll equip you with the Juno Haradan Blasters. There we go. That works out a little better, don't you think? Equip you with the security stuff as well. Okay. Um, yeah, and then we'll just sell all our old stuff. Hey, I know about all the repairs you're doing. Don't worry. I understand. You do repairs. You're good at it. All right. Um, hmm. Ion Blaster. Don't really need that right now. Like at all, really. Um, Mandalorian Blaster. It's actually pretty good. Uh, better than Heavy Blaster. By far, honestly. Um, heavy pistol. Oh my, that's even better. Oh, good mother of Jeebus. Why ain't I giving that to anyone? <laughs> what? Am I dumb? Am I dumb dumb? Probably. Probably that's what the answer is. A Zabraktai Steel Mark III. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy boy. Hmm. Um... Disruptor Rifle. Eh. It's not as good as some of the other stuff that I have. Um, then I have to sell off the other things. If I can get to them. There we go. Uh, that, which is useless. That, which is useless. That, which is useless. That's actually probably pretty good. I just don't know who to give it that to. Uh, you got the Type 2... So I guess we'll give the Type 3 to T3. Sure. And we'll sell off the other one. Yeah, yeah, and I just gotta, gotta go through all of that. There we go. Go all the way back down. Holy jeebus. This is going to take longer than I ever intended it to. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. And, uh, with that in mind, I want to actually look at... Oh, he can carry those. Cool. What about you? Can you carry those? You can. Huh. And they would be better than the rifle. Barely. Barely, though. Actually... Three twelve threshold, and then four eleven, and then it's balanced and an attack modifier of three. Does this have an attack modifier? Attack modifier of two. So once again, <laughs> it seems that uh, <laughs> wielding two is better than one, as usual. Shoulda guessed, actually. Yeah. Actually, now I think about it. <laughs> I keep changing my mind, but it's like at the same time, do I want him to have the good stuff or do I want him to have the okay stuff while I give the people who I will actually use the good stuff? That's the question. And it's also time to see if missions gear is up to snuff. I guess. There we go. That's done. And we will check Mission's gear. She only has one blaster. <laughs> okay. It's upgradable. But uh, at the same time, wasn't she good with one or two hands? I don't know. Um, One-handed. One-handed weapons. Okay. So that's what she is good with. Uh, with that in mind, then, uh, we'll give her the blaster that is good for that. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be just fine. The Zabraktai Steel Mark III, which has bonus physical and an attack modifier, which is 
slightly better than Bendax. Bendax has a tighter range, but at the same time, he doesn't do physical damage as well. It's also attack modifier, though, but I don't think... I think that's upgraded as far as it would go anyway. So that's probably the best it's going to be. Okay, yeah. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Alright, um, that's not what I meant to do at all. I was meaning to go back to party selection just so I'm running full Jedi just because I can during this particular moment. Because if we're going to be running in doing shit with the Sith, you might as well be all Jedi. Just to mess with the Sith here. Hello. I know you. Yeah. You're the Arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. Uh huh. If there's any justice in the galaxy, they'll feed Sunray to the Firexes. Shouldn't you uh -huh. be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? Doing the preparing. I ha I know the passcode. Oh really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Mm hmm. Well then. What is it? This. <laughs> yes, well, I I suppose you really do have some business here. Head on in. Thank you. Thank you for making it easier for me. Bye. This is where the fun begins. Or maybe not. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? I have the passcode. Your passcode is out of date. Oh. And I don't recognize you at all. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. Um. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. Agreed. Oh, Sound the alarm. Droids, destroy them. Well, um, uh-oh, uh, well, since you're the closest, you have to die first. Sorry, that's just how it be. Alright, and, uh, we'll get in close and then do the first way after that. Come on, go. Beautiful. Haha! -ha! We did it. He dead dead. Now I can heal everyone. Wahoo. So I didn't use too many force points at all. Okay. Whip. Yachani foil. I, I keep hitting the wrong button when I mean to do things. Erg. Uh, Achani foil. These swords were crafted to honor Rask Tafeni, the best Yuchani duelist of her time. Many were sold, but imperfections in the difficult lightsaber deflecting cortosis weave caused few to survive. Oh, so these were made in honor, but not very well made. <laughs> so they ended up not <laughs> lasting as long as they should have. I see. So this is the proper sword version of a, a Chani weapon. As this is apparently just the vibroblade version, which is smaller. Huh. Interesting. Good to know. And we'll take the remains from you. Nerve enhancement package. I keep hitting that button. Because I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. Nerve enhancement allows you to be immune to mind affecting. Okay. Okay, cool. You're you're not wearing anything? You're not wearing anything at all. Okay, fine. Alright. And you'll wear that, but nothing else heavier than that. Oh, it's because these are armor. That's why. Also, she won't wear implants either. Okay, I guess it's just me. She won't wear implants. That's an unfortunate turn of phrase. Stray, you idiot. 
Mm. Okay, well. Immunity to mind affecting would be nice. Although I already have that in my armor. So, I guess I'll just stay with the cardio package. That's probably as good as it's going to get. Okay. Well, the combat is starting. I have no choice. Maybe if I use the card, maybe it wouldn't have been... Maybe it wouldn't have been immediate vi uh, violence. Hmm. Faulty wardroid, you say? Hmm. Reactivate the droid. Optimize, optimize. Engage in patrol mode. And engage the shield. And I shall let it do its thing for me. It shall be dealing with all of them. Okay, well. Time to beat the hell out of these guys. And actually, time to do this. There we go. And we're going to deal with you just so you stop being a problem. You too. Well, broken droid. Is that our probe we're needing to get? Yes, it is. Data module. Aha! Managed to retrieve the encrypted data module from the Sith base. Now you need to return it to Roland Wan so he'll tell you what he may know about a star map. Alright, fair enough. Oh, the shield is still up. Nice. What do we get out of you? Grenades? No. Adrenals, for some reason. Okay. Security decryption interface. Universal computer interface. Well, we got good things for computers. And droids. Too bad we don't really run too many droids in our outfit. All right. Thank you, droid. You're the best. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, hello. All right, this is going to be a problem. All right, maybe this will help a little. They're going to focus on one while I deal with the other by myself, because I'm just that much of a bad ass. I'm just missing left and right here. It'd be nice if I stop missing. It would be nice if I stopped missing and actually did damage. Could we do damage, please? There we go. Well, we're now doing substantial amount of damage here. There we go. The West Lounge, huh? Well, about the lounge. I'm not going to be lounging for long. Because I'm coming in, bish. All right. First things first, though. Let's go in the other direction. <laughs> and uh, see what's going on over there. Since now we have chosen violence. Let us see what violence we can... Oh, ha, Hello. All right. No, you're not doing that for much longer. Not if I have any way to stop it. There we go. We'll do this again. And you're stunned now. <laughs> so much for you doing that the whole time. Bish. Now you're dead. How's that feel? Probably not good. The flow control room. Well, I can get some remains off of you. Genruax crystal. What is a Genruax crystal? Also, I got a small lightsaber off of you. Flow control room. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, well. 
I'll go this way first. Ow! There be robots. There be robots. And heal up a little bit. There we go. Good. Oh, war droids. Fantastic. Alright. Alright. Well, we dealt with you. That's the important part. And we'll do another force wave. Destroyed that robot. Bye. Ooh, heavy trooper that hasn't been properly damaged yet. Well, we'll fix that. Bye. <laughs> what are you? Okay, you're just going to carry a couple of great things. I'm going to see if there's any more remains I can pick up. Ooh, yes there is. If only I could point in the right direction to do it. Water pump analysis. Water pump analysis, you say. What is that about? Okay, let's show the new items. Just so I can see some of the other stuff. The crystal adds to damage and blaster deflection. The refined form of Opala. This crystal has been cleansed of all impurities. When used in a lightsaber construction, it produces a blade of unerring quickness. Interesting. Alrighty. Uh, murder recording. That was the thing that makes everything look bad for Sunri. Uh, that's security. It's pass card. Universal computer interface. Actually pretty good. Plus six. Damn. All right. In regards to the system in place to cycle water from the ocean to the thermal heaters, what were you thinking? What made you put that airlock mechanism on the only other path to the north side of the base? Now everyone has to know how to cycle the water out of one room and into the adjoining one for each of the three rooms in sequence without accidentally flooding the room they're in. We lost seven troopers just this week. Next time I'm there, you better show me how to do it properly. I can't afford to lose any more of my aids while trying to get to the cell cath. So they are keeping cell cath here. Okay. Interesting. All right. Interesting indeed. Oh, look at that! It's a frag mine! In front of a door! That I can't get anyone to be dealing with because no one knows how. And you need. Oh, boy. Does, does Stun Droid not work on mines? No, it does. <laughs> oh, so whoever's can. Oh, great. Okay. Sure. All right, I guess I'll do it. Ow! That hoy. A lot. Okay. Sealed door. Go to. It's sealed permanently, so I can't find out. Okay. Joy. Oh, so this was the other path. Okay. All right. Huh. Apparently to go further in, I need to play this game for... This. Well, it sounds like water's on the other side. All of it. This is gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird. Okay. Um. 
water has been transferred to an adjoining to an adjoining pressure chamber. Can I not get in there then? It's filled with water. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I could accidentally flood the room and be stuck in here and die. Oh. Um. Okay. That makes it more difficult. <laughs> oh, no. Why is everything that suck have to involve water? <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything that suck have to involve water? Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm going to go save real quick. Just so I'm not screwed. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, here's hoping that I haven't that I just saved it, and I haven't found a way to fuck up even further. So, um... Currently malfunctioning? Great. Warning. Activating flow control may flood occupied chambers. Proceed. We'll flood this chamber. Okay, so it... So if it will flood this chamber, it will eliminate it as... If it'll flood the chamber I'm in, it will eliminate that as an option. Okay, so it's been moved over there. Huh. This one doesn't have a Hmm. Okay. So this will be filled with water. And then this will be filled with water. So if I go this way... What would you... You're kidding me. I just... Okay. I am... Um... Seed. Okay. Then what? Okay, now I'm. S <laughs> what is yes? Okay. I don't know. Okay. 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 And it's going to say this is filled with water. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Okay. Filled with that one then. Is this one empty now, then? 
What do I do then? Do I then flood this one? Okay. All right. And this one is still filled up. So I moved it from there. Now both of these are filled with water. Okay. Alright, how do I win then? How do I win? Where did it go? It went in here. went somewhere else now. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. don't understand where the water's going. Okay, these two are empty. This is the one I need to empty. It won't let me empty. <laughs> what in the hell? What do I do, though? It says it's still full! What the f- Okay, alright. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done trying. <laughs> I will end this episode, and I will fucking look up a walkthrough if I have to. Because I don't understand. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Oh, boy. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to breach the Sith base to get further in. And the game won't let me because I don't understand how to do the flooding of the fucking rooms. So that way I can go through because the game isn't letting me do the thing I think it should be doing. And, and I guess I'm probably going to be in trouble as soon as I get out of here. Okay, anyway, for you... <laughs>